What's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's YouTube video. I'm Jack. This is Maisie. Maisie, you want to say hi? Hi. No, no one's there. Just people on the camera. But this is a follow-up to last video where I basically tried to speed run fat loss and give you guys exactly how I would go about fat loss in about 10 minutes. It wasn't super detailed because you could get into, I could probably talk 30 minutes just about protein in and of itself. So it's one of those things where I try to be as broad and cover the entire topic as best I could. And now I'm gonna run you guys through an example of exactly how I personally lost 30 pounds last year using that kind of outline that I went over last video. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that one out. It's just basically how to lose, I, I think I called it, how to lose fat for the summer 2024, something like that. Check that out. You can watch it on two times speed to make it five minutes instead and then come back here. Basically today I'm gonna go over exactly how I personally lost 30 pounds last year using that exact method I went over yesterday. So a couple quick notes. Um, this was over a nine month period. So this is not a 30 pounds in 30 days. This is not a 30 pounds in three months. This was 30 pounds over 90, or no, not 90 days, over nine months, which, oh my gosh, what's that, 270 days, right? Nine times about 30, yeah, about 270 days to lose 30 pounds. And this did end up being a bodybuilding prep. I did compete at the very end. So I would say for me, the last 10 pounds are probably something that no one needs to lose. Like I could have stopped at 160, been the leanest guy at the beach. But once again, I did lose 30 pounds. So I just wanna go over that process. So to start off, I started in February of 2023. So last year, February 1st, I literally started my prep and I got sick right away. So this was after about a year and a half of pushing my weight up and bulking. So the goal with that bulk was to add as much muscle as I could and kind of get my body fat to an uncomfortable position. So that's a bit different. Some people you know, normally start out at a higher body fat, but they didn't purposely get there, right? So I purposely was bringing my calories up. I purposely was eating like 3,500 plus calories. I was purposely trying to build as much muscle and strength as I could in preparation for this cut. So that is one unique starting position. But yeah, I, I started out right at 181. I have my weigh-ins right here. I'll pop up some of that information over here. So I started at 181 and I pretty much immediately got sick and lost about, let's see here, lost about six pounds in about two days. Uh, I went from like 181 to 176 because I got sick. So the big thing there is realizing that, okay, this wasn't an ideal start to the prep or to the fat loss phase. So we actually went ahead and brought my calories up and kept them at 3000 to let my body weight come back up a little bit. So after the week I got sick, I went ahead, brought those calories back up to about 3000 and had my weight stabilized right around 179. And then once I was healthy, once I was back in the gym feeling good, we went ahead and dropped my calories down to 2,800 and we stayed at 2,800 for about three weeks and got down to a body weight of around 178. So it wasn't a huge change. And then um, also this entire time we were doing 10,000 steps and zero cardio at this point. So as far as calories go, we're right around um, 2,800 and my protein stayed pretty much right around 160 to 180 the entire time. My fat was uh, fluctuated a little bit, but I'll kind of get into that later. So at the start we are, 2,800 calories after I got sick. We are down about two pounds in total because we wanted to bring the weight up after I got sick. We're at 10,000 steps and we're training five times a week. So we saw the weight come down and then let's see, looks like in, um, looks like mid-March, we went ahead and dropped the calories down to about 2,500. And then our protein was still around 200 grams. So it actually was a little bit higher at that point. We we're doing 10,000 steps and the weight continued to come down at that point. So basically we're at 2,500 calories. Um, and we saw the weight come down 2,500. I uh, see some 177s in mid-March, uh, 175 closer to the end of March. We're still at the 2,500 calories on average. And then looks like, let's see where the next calorie change is. Okay, actually not for a while, it looks like. Um, yeah, so pretty much I ride 20, uh, 2,500 calories. It's like 2,450, so about 2,500 calories until the end of April, and by that point, I have lost about 10 pounds. So I'm weighing right around 168, 169. My steps did increase to 12,000 a day, so the only change it looks like from basically the, almost a startup prep was a slight decrease in calories um, down to the 2,500 calorie mark, and then I went from 10,000 steps to 12,000 steps. So um, that's an increase there. And when I say on average uh, for the calories, I do have some higher calorie days in there, so I'd be maybe at 22 to 2300 calorie all, calories all week, and maybe have one or two higher calorie days on the weekend uh, as kind of like refeeds or uh, just a slight increase in calories. So we see that happen there. 
and then I take a trip to New York City um, in May and that go ahead and was basically a free trip. I did not track anything. I was there with my girlfriend, her aunt and uncle. I was just strictly pretty much eating whatever they were, um, had a lot of good food. So we came back from New York at 172 pounds. So I gained about uh, four pounds in New York, but then we went ahead and got slightly more aggressive with our cut and we went to 2200 calories or sorry, yeah, it looks like 22 to 2300 calories. So drop the calories down a little bit. Uh, steps still around 12,000 and then we see the weight come down continually through the rest of May into um, at the end of May we're at 165 pounds calories are still around 2300 and steps are around 12,000 so really still haven't made too much changes just a slight drop in calories after New York uh, that takes us into May and then June uh, looks like the month of June we're still right around 2300 calories and the step count is looks like 12 to 13,000. So maybe a little bit increase in steps. Continue to see that weight come down. By the end of June, we are about 160 pounds. So another five pounds lost throughout June. And then we drop the calories at the end of June as we go into July to 20, um, 2100 calories. And then once again, some fluctuations here because the calories do change a little bit based on once again, the refeed day as well as any sort of travel I had. So uh, once again, I kind of went to Hilton Head with my family, ate a little bit more food. I went to Houston, uh, lived in Houston for about a month and a half, had a little bit more food there. So calories I would say are between 21 to 2300 calories, but my step count did go up. We went up to a full 14 to 15,000 steps. So once again, I'm doing no excess cardio. I'm strictly just increasing my calories at this, or sorry, increasing my step count at this point. So we head into July. Once again, the weight continues to come down. Um, we are now dropping below 160. So throughout the month of July, we're averaging about 21 to 2200 calories, about 15,000 steps. And then we see the weight come down to one, uh, let's see, 158 and then we have a refeed at the end so actually a full week straight of eating 2800 calories at the end of july and we go ahead and see the weight once again kind of climb up a little bit and then we go back into our calorie deficit of around 2100 calories uh 15 000 steps and the weight continues to come down 157 uh 156 155 and then we kind of wrap up August right around 153. So this is August going into September and we are right around the 153, 155 mark. And my first show, um, which was gonna be, I believe at the end of October, the first week in October. So I'm basically a month out from my show around 155 at the start of September. And throughout the month of September, we do drop those calories down to looks like about 18 to 1900 calories, the steps up to 20,000. So this is the kind of what we call the digging phase. We're really grinding things out. Then we see, let's see, 152, 151, 153, 150, 149, which is kind of crazy to see for me out. They have weighed under 150 pounds since high school or since I graduated high school, I should say. And then we have, once again, then we get into the shows and the shows are a little bit unique. Um, but basically, um, as you guys can see, I'll kind of kind of wrap things up also, hopefully once again, I'll put a bunch of information over here as well as now I'll kind of go through um, some progress photos I'll throw up as well. So starting out, I was definitely very fluffy. At 180 pounds, I was, I don't wanna say force feeding, but I was eating more calorically dense foods and not so healthy foods because I just needed to get my calories up as much as I possibly could. Um, so the big thing there was that the fact I started out at a very high calorie mark where I was pushing my calories up on purpose. So that allows me to lose quite a bit of weight at the start of the gate, out the start of the gate a little bit faster. So start off pretty fluffy, but in the first, I would say, let's say, so February by March, um, or I would say by May, um, I was already down to 170 pounds. So by the first week in May, I was around 170, 106 uh, 170, 168 pounds. So what is that? That's February, March into April. That's three, month, three months, about 10 pounds down, which is a pretty good, I would say a little bit over 10 pounds. So that was a pretty good place to be. Once again, I'll throw up some more photos around that like late April, early May time where I was getting leaner. I definitely felt more comfortable in my skin. And once again, my body pretty much likes to be probably right around 170 plus or minus five pounds. So that's where I kind of once again, started to feel good. The first three months of prep went by actually pretty easily. Uh, the next three months were a little bit more intense. So um, the, I guess kind of like the second third of prep or the second third of my fat loss phase, going from 170 to 160 was a little bit more difficult, but that took about uh, May, June, and then July. Um, by mid-July, we were in the 160s, so a little bit more efficient, I would say in the second third of the prep. We lost, um, let's see, by end of July, we were around 150, 
uh, 158. So once again, pretty much about another 10 pounds in three months. Uh, once again, increasing the step count to 12,000 and decreasing the calories to around 2,200. And then we go ahead into that last phase of prep, which is once again, kind of like the, um, where I'll say is most people don't need to push themselves beyond that point. Cause I was probably at 10% body fat around 160 pounds, but I need to get to stage lean around five to 6% body fat. So we had to push and really pull off another 10 pounds. And that's where things got intense, right? That's where I was uh, below 2000 calories. That's where I was at almost 20,000 steps a day for a little bit there. If not, I would say anywhere between 15 to 20,000 steps every single day, consistently tracking every single calorie I ate for months on end. So this is where it got a little more difficult. But the big thing here is I just wanna show you guys that once again, it's very similar. Once again, I know this is a bodybuilding prep, so a little bit extreme, but it's a matter of finding your calories and sticking with those calories with a certain protein goal. As I mentioned, my protein is pretty much 200 grams the entire prep. Eventually at the very end, drop down to maybe close to 160, just we had a little bit more carbs. But once again, find a calorie goal that's gonna have you lose around one pound of fat per week. Then go ahead and make sure you're hitting your minimum protein goals. Now Maisie's gone off. See you, Maisie. Find a, a good amount of calories that help you lose, once again, around one pound per week. Stay consistent with that. Once again, I was eating pretty much whole foods the entire time, plenty of protein, lean protein sources, at least three servings of fruits and vegetables every single day, and then getting my steps in. At no point did I add cardio to this entire workout program. I was never going to the gym more than five days a week. Eventually went, went down to four days per week as well. I still worked in some trips with my family. Once again, Katie and I went to New York. My family and I went to Hilton Head. I basically moved to Houston, but that was more of like a kind of like a fitness and work trip as well during that time. And basically the entire time, once again, it was just consistency. Did I hit my calories? Was I getting my protein in? Did I train properly? Did I get my steps in or once again, some cardio? And how did I manage my lifestyle? Once again, this was pretty strict. I documented the entire thing. So if you guys wanna go watch some of my like, my nine, 10, 11 weeks out videos, I was pretty strict with things, but I wasn't really, I would say overly strict until the end of prep. Like the last three months, it was very intense. But the first three months, I was still having date nights with my girlfriend. I was still having, uh, working those kind of calories in, visiting her family, enjoying my summertime, having um, a little bit of flexibility on the weekends uh, with some higher calorie marks. The biggest thing I can say is the consistency and time at a slight calorie deficit was what really worked for me. That's what led me to 30 pounds. Once again, it took me nine months and I'm a fitness professional, quote unquote. <laughs> uh, that's someone who like, once again, takes this serious on a daily basis. But I have, once again, loads of client success stories that are very similar. And it comes down to the fact that they were consistent and gave enough time to work. The clients that I know um, that have the great success are the ones that once again, track their calories, that ask questions, that tell me once again, if their calories were high or low that week, if their step counts decreased or increased, or if they're doing, uh, or if they have more time for some cardio, or what they're struggling with. The biggest thing there is finding a sustainable path that works for you. And then once again, just making sure you put the time and effort in. But hopefully that gave you a little glimpse uh, once again into the how I lost 30 pounds last year. Once again, I have so much content from that prep. If you have any questions, definitely leave comments below. I know it was a little sporadic, but basically I just wanna show you that we only made a few changes. Throughout nine months, I think we dropped the calories. Once again, we went from about 3,000 or 2,800 to about 2,500, then to 2,200, and then to maybe 1,800. I think that's four calorie drops within nine months. And our steps went from 10,000 to 12,000 to 15 to 20,000. So once again, it was like four or five changes over nine months. So you don't need to change calories every day. When you find something that works, stick to it, give it long enough. When you have a weight plateau of two plus weeks, then make a change. But don't make those change too quickly or else your calories get too low too quickly and you probably didn't need to. But yeah. Without further ado, if you guys have once again any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I know it's kind of sporadic, but just want to once again give you guys a, I guess, real life example of someone putting that outline I just went over in last week's video or in the previous video to use and how I lost 30 pounds. And I'll probably be doing a video similar to this coming up in May of 2024, since I'll be doing a little another little cut um, here after once again I finish up this bulk or this building phase, recovery phase, whatever you want to call it. And then once again, I'm just gonna be using the exact same strategy as before because it's proven to work. Small changes here and there are great. And then finding what works best for you in terms of meal timing, meal frequency, protein sources, um, life habit uh, or lifestyle and habit changes, stuff like that. But yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna end things here. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.